fifth signs Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is your person's biggest regret. This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. For those of you interested in a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle. I want you to take a moment and focus on your special person. Um, hold an image of them in your mind's eye and we'll see what is your person's biggest regret. Mm, I see the Six of Swords here. Bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Cups. Now, this is someone who feels like they've treated you like an option rather than a priority. This is someone who I feel like this person didn't know what it is that they've wanted. Okay? And it just feels like they didn't have their mind made up here. Okay? I feel like what they regret with you here is a chance that they didn't take because it feels like they had you around, right? When they had you, they didn't really appreciate you. It feels like this person wasn't... I don't think that they were ready to meet your expectations. And I don't think this person was... I don't think this person knew what they wanted when they were with you, okay? And I think it had, it had more to do with them than it had to do with you. And I feel like... Look, for some people, it takes your absence for them to truly appreciate your presence. And this is what it feels like with this energy. They had no idea what they had in you when they had you. It wasn't until this relationship came to an end or this connection faded that they realized what they lost here. Okay, so seven of chalices here. Um, your person still holds on to your person still holds on to your energy. Energetically, I feel like this person is still connected to you. But to me, it feels like they hold on to the illusions of what could have been. Okay, All the visions that you spoke about, the expectations and the intentions that you set for this connection, they still hold on to you. They haven't let that go. It's when they had you, they had it all. But they didn't realize it then. It took you walking away or it took them losing you to realize what they had here which is sad um it feels like your relationship had its fair share of struggles here okay its fair share of turbulency here um challenges this person regrets not staying and fighting for you not fighting hard enough for you not waiting long enough as well okay i feel like this person thought that because I can see that the two of you, there was, it's not a mismatch, but the two of you didn't always see eye to eye. The two of you were, you, you used to argue a lot, okay? Um, it just feels like you guys never really sat down and communicated with one another, okay? Maybe you've never really truly created this safe space where you both felt comfortable expressing your true feelings and your true emotions. This person wishes that they could, what they really want is to go back in time have the chance with you to do it all again because if they would they would do things differently it feels like this particular person was a bit of a player type a bit of a player energy this person had choices or options around them and 
they were not necessarily committed to you or to the idea of this connection. Look, I feel like they, what they wanted was the convenience of a relationship without the actual commitment, okay? So they wanted to keep their options open. They wanted to see if the grass was green on the other side. You know, they wanted to go out there and play the field. It feels like they had other people here. It feels like, you know, they had other people that were that they were pursuing here. And they never really, because of that, they never really gave this connection with you a proper go, a proper chance. And it feels like they left before, or the connection ended before it really had the chance to begin. And this person regrets here. Regrets not not just not giving it the time that this connection needed not respecting you here as well they regret cuz see with their energy they didn't know what they had with you right so a part of them felt like they were not afraid to lose you because they didn't know what they had if they would go back in time there's this fear of them losing you that they would do things so differently because they don't they wouldn't want to lose you okay and it feels like this person it feels like this person had emotional or behavioral patterns that were a hindrance to this connection it feels like this person messed up time and time again um, and you kept forgiving this person and they kept getting comfortable with depending on your forgiveness here and they wish that they had taken more personal accountability and responsibility with their actions here and with the way that they treated you. They regret like walking away from you or letting you go here. They do. Um, there's a lot of things that they wish that they could have done differently. Okay, but I feel like they've also learned a lot of the things that they've a lot of the behavior here, a lot of their behavior, a lot of their um, actions here, I think they learn from that a lot. And they they understand that they can't go back to and change the past. But I think they, they're using that as a learning tool to work on themselves, to better themselves for their current or future relationships here. They cared. They did care about you, but they didn't realize how much here. Yeah. They wish that life had a bit of a rewind button because they, they still think about you. You know, they're still... I don't know. I think you guys have... To have there's a lot of... There's a lot of visions. You guys would talk um, either late at night or you guys would talk um, a lot about the things like the plans that you've had for the future, the intentions that you had for this connection, they still hold on to those, you know that? They still think about that. They still think about some of the things that both of you have planned or spoke about here. Look, they regret doing wrong by you. They regret not giving you a chance. Um, but they know that at the end of the day, I feel like this is someone who has come to terms with that, okay? And they know that this is a lesson. This is a lesson that um, they've learned here. I think they learned the proper lesson from these. Look, sometimes people, good people make bad choices. It doesn't mean that they are bad. It just means they're a human. And I think that with this person's energy, it just feels like, I don't know, were you guys really young when you met each other? Or was there a bit of an age gap? Um, or even if there wasn't an age gap, you know, people have their own unique and individual journeys, right? And everyone matures, uh, you know, matures differently and at different stages and, a di and at a different pace. You can't hurry up someone on their journey just as they can't ask you to hurry up on your journey. And it just feels like the two of you were a little bit out of sync with one another. It could have been like a case of the right person but the wrong time. Maybe when you met in life, you were ready to settle down and you were ready to, you know, um, build a home, build a future with this person. And maybe this person wanted all those things, but they weren't ready for it. Maybe they were a little bit younger. Maybe they still had some experiences 
um, you know, to get off their chest. Um, it just feels like the two of you were, it felt like they were trying to catch up to where you were, but it just felt like there was always the, this lack of balance. They also regret, you know, some of the options they had around them, they regret that they let some people stay in their life longer than they actually deserved. Did this person buy a house with someone? I know this is really strange, but I think they regret, they regret buying a house with someone here. It's someone I feel like that this person may have fallen out of love with. And it's hard for them to leave this person because, because there's a big purchase in their names. That's, that's what I get. They bought, maybe this is someone that this person left you for and they went on to buy a, a house or a home with this person. But it feels like they've now fallen out of love with this individual and they have gone back to thinking about you. But it's hard for them to leave because of this big purchase that's in both their names. It keeps them tied, bound to one another. They also regret replying to you when they were really angry here because they said some things that have hurt you and they didn't mean it. But it feels like this person was hurting and they were lashing out at you. They regret not They've had a bit of a temper, right? A, a, a bit of a temper tantrum at times, or they had a bit of a temper that would just, you know, all of a sudden flare up. And um, this person regrets talking to you, or, the, you know, they regret responding here when they were angry because they would weaponize their words and they would say things that they, they didn't really mean. But because they were hurting, they felt like they wanted to re retaliate and they would lash out back at you. And they regret that. They regret not cooling down or you know not going out for a walk or just removing themselves from you when they were so angry and they were so heated because there were some things that they've said that they wish they could take back but you know what what's said can't be unsaid right all right guys and these are your messages so thanks so much for watching and listening appreciate your support by liking sharing subscribing for those of you interested in the personal reading please feel free to connect with me thank you guys again bye for now